Every once in a while, there are role players who become the talk of the basketball world after doing something unexpected. Most times, that something refers to positive things, such as a breakout game or a clutch shot, but sometimes it's the complete opposite. And unfortunately, Myers Leonard finds himself in the spotlight because of the latter. Usually, Leonard is not the kind of player to make the headlines. So far, he's had a modest career in the NBA, and other than a few solid performances here and there, most of the biggest news related to him has had to do with video game streams and beer challenges. And it's exactly during one of these streams that things went wrong for him. Now, he's become the center of attention for all of the wrong reasons, and there's a high chance his career could be affected because of it. But exactly what happened with him? How has the league reacted to the incident? What kind of consequences will he face for his actions? Let's take a look into it. Unless you're a Heat or a Blazers fan, one of the first things you may be wondering about Leonard is, who is he? After all, he's not exactly a household name. Still, he's the kind of player that's good enough to make solid contributions on a winning team, and that's allowed him to enjoy a successful career as a role player. He came into the league after two years of playing for the University of Illinois, where he put up good enough numbers to catch the attention of scouts and be considered as a lottery pick. He declared his eligibility for the 2012 draft and was selected by the Trailblazers with the 11th pick. Unlike Damian Lillard, the Blazers' other rookie that year, Leonard had a limited role with the team during his first season, and as they made the transition from a lottery team to a playoff contender, he struggled to find playing time during his second year as a professional. Things weren't much better for him in the following season. However, injuries to other players allowed him to receive more minutes, and he surprised everyone by showing an inspired and effective play and finishing the season with shooting splits of 50, 40, and 90. His solid play continued throughout his fourth year, helping him earn an extension from the Blazers despite suffering a season-ending surgery on his left shoulder. But after coming back, his role with the team was never the same, and inconsistency became the new norm for him. So, after three mostly average seasons and an impressive performance in Game 4 of the 2019 Conference Finals against the Warriors, Leonard was sent to Miami as part of the four-team trade that allowed Jimmy Butler to join the Heat. With the Heat, Leonard received the largest role of his career, as he became a starter in almost all of the games he played in. But after suffering a sprained ankle and seeing how the team made multiple moves before the trade deadline, his role was reduced once again. Inside the bubble, he spent most of his time on the bench as a sort of assistant coach and cheerleader as he watched his team make it to the finals before losing to the Lakers. But once again, he made a good enough impression on the team to receive an extension despite his prolonged absence. However, his new contract wouldn't help him get more minutes. Just like it happened in Orlando, he found himself out of the rotation and made only three appearances before suffering a shoulder injury that required season-ending surgery. And then, things got even worse for him. During a Call of Duty live stream on his Twitch channel, Leonard used an anti-Semitic slur against opposing players. The stream immediately started to get filled with comments about the term he used before moderators intervened. A few moments later, he received a call from his wife and stopped the stream. Before long, the organizations associated with him started commenting about the incident. Gaming sponsors decided to cut ties with him, and Twitch proceeded to suspend his channel. As for the NBA, the Heat released a statement condemning Leonard's comments and indicating he would be away from the team while the league's office conducted a formal investigation on the incident. In the following days, the league released a statement indicating Myers would face a $50,000 fine and be required to participate in a cultural diversity program while also being suspended from the team's facilities and activities for one week. For his part, the big man also released a statement where he apologized for his actions and expressed that, while he didn't know the meaning of the term he used, he would seek help to educate himself on the matter. Both Adam Silver and the Heat's representatives expressed their acceptance of Myers' efforts to mend his mistake, and the team also indicated they would keep contact with him as he remained away from them. But what other consequences could he face from now on? While making mistakes is part of human nature, fixing them can be more difficult for public figures like Leonard. Nowadays, making any kind of discriminatory comments can lead to big consequences. And even more so if we take into consideration, the NBA has developed a reputation as a promoter of equality and social justice. So the fact that one of its players is making such comments on a live stream could be harmful to his career in the long term. For instance, the Heat holds a team option on his contract for the next season. Considering how little he had played before injuring his shoulder, it would have been reasonable if the team decided not to exercise its option on him. But following this incident, Miami may have yet another reason for not bringing him back, and if Leonard doesn't work on fixing his reputation, other teams may think twice about offering him a contract. Of course, that may seem radical to some people. After all, he already expressed his regret, and there's a high chance we'll see him actively trying to correct his mistake. But we must also understand how such issues can impact someone's career in a league like the NBA. Usually, players and coaches are the ones on the receiving end of comments like that. As a matter of fact, before the pandemic took fans out of the arenas, multiple players had already had meetings with the league's office to talk about the increase in problems caused by fan behavior. Incidents like the one where Masai Ujiri was stopped from stepping on the court following his team's victory in the 2019 Finals by a police officer are still fresh on the minds of the NBA community as well. Most recently, Jeremy Lin talked about how he had been called coronavirus on the court while playing for the Santa Cruz Warriors in the G League. 
And when it comes to anti-Semitism in particular, hate crimes against Jewish people have been on the rise over the last few years. In other words, discrimination is not a topic that should be taken lightly by NBA players. And the fact there have been so many reactions to Leonard's comments proves it. Still, that doesn't mean Leonard's career will automatically be finished. Things could be more difficult for him from now on. But if he manages to prove he's learned from his mistake, no one should hold it against him in the long term. After all, some players have been through worse situations and remain active with their respective teams. For instance, Kevin Porter Jr. went through multiple off-court issues during his time in Cleveland before the team decided to trade him away. And now, after having played in the G League, the Rockets have decided to make him part of their roster. So, even though Porter and Leonard may be on different levels from a talent standpoint, the latter's incident shouldn't be treated differently only because it received more attention from the media. If his NBA career does come to an end, it should be because of a decline in his health or his ability to perform at a high level on the court. Teams shouldn't use this incident to cancel him. Instead, he and the league should try to work on educating more people on the subject. Just like it happened with him, there's a lot of people who aren't aware of the meaning of certain terms and how harmful they can be. But now that the incident has caught the attention of so many people, it would be an excellent opportunity for him and the rest of the league to try to spread awareness on the subject. For instance, New England Patriot Julian Edelman has had conversations with different athletes that have made anti-Semitic comments in the past, and now he's reached out to Leonard to do the same. In other words, Myers has the opportunity to turn this whole situation around into something beneficial for his community and the league. Will that be enough to make people forget about what happened? Probably not. Even though he didn't mean to harm anyone, his actions have already caused discomfort in a lot of people, and that can't be taken back. But trying his best to make up for what he did will certainly be a step in the right direction. Will it affect his pro career? Well, it already has. From multiple sponsors and organizations cutting ties with him, to the Heat deciding he should remain away from the team. It's evident he's already paying the price of what he did. And that's without saying anything about his reputation and how it could be affected. But it shouldn't cause him to lose interest from teams in the future. Of course, his performance during the season wasn't the best, and the fact he's out because of injury doesn't make things any easier for him. That alone is enough reason for Miami to consider not exercising its team option on him and for other teams to think twice about extending an offer if he becomes a free agent. But at the end of the day, this incident should be just a stain of what has been otherwise a decent basketball career. In short, there's no denying Leonard's actions were terrible. He should have never made anti-Semitic comments of any kind, and now that he did, he must work on educating himself and on fixing that damage that he's caused. But if he's honest about his intentions to be better, there's no reason why the league or any of its teams should judge him because of what happened. He's still a valuable basketball player and a great locker room presence, and no human mistake will ever take that away from him. But now, what's your take on the matter? Do you believe the league should try to do more to prevent these kinds of issues in the future? Let us know in the comments. We hope you've enjoyed today's video, and if you did, remember to like it and subscribe to our channel for more NBA content. We are Courtside.